I mean, I, I just got goosebumps just talking about it. The 2024 Olympics have just a few more days left. However, athletes are already looking towards the 2028 LA Games. After an Olympic break in Paris, softball is returning in 2028. Seems like forever away, but it'll be here before we know it. Before we know it, it will be here. NBC 2's Jeremy May introduces us to a former USA catcher who's coaching the next generation of possible Olympians. All right, here you go. Yes, ma'am! Growing up in California, Aubrey Monroe first picked up a softball at four years old. That led her to the University of Florida, where she won two national championships. We were really successful. I played with a lot of really special athletes, um, and so it was just a dream come true. After graduating in 2016, Aubrey went on to play for Team USA. She won another two championships and is known as the best catcher ever in the Stars and Stripes. Getting that kind of recognition is um, very special to me. It makes me feel really good. But all of those accomplishments pale in comparison to the Olympics, a dream she set for herself at 10 years old and accomplished at 27. You're wearing that uniform. It's an incredible honor. It's, I mean, I, I just got goosebumps just talking about it. Monroe played for Team USA in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics and took silver. At the time, as a competitor, it was really hard, but so proud of my team, the work we put in. After a couple of years away from the sport, Aubrey got the itch back. So she picked up the softball again and is now coaching our youth players here in Southwest Florida. Stay compact without like crunching ourselves up. I've missed softball and now I'm really getting back into it a little bit more. Monroe coaches teenage catchers in Naples. And here so that I can react up or down. Which she loves because she can pass down her Olympic knowledge. Stacked up here, shoulder over my hip, over my knee. To the next generation. Pull. I don't want to just pull my glove down to the ground. The opportunity for young women to play sports and to compete and learn how to fight through adversity. I mean, it's just so valuable. Good. With her coaching. And we learn to just kind of let it fly. Aubrey says some of our local players might have an Olympic future themselves. Yes, that was better. Good. Monroe is happy softball is coming back to the games in 2028 and hopes they stay there for good. When we're in the Olympics, people don't understand like what that does for our resources. The more we can get kids dreaming about it, um, I think the more we're going to see more resources and more visibility. Make your tag! On the road yeah! to L.A. Are right, you in. Good job. I'm Jaron May. Softball is believed to have been created in the late 1800s. It didn't debut in the Olympics until the 1996 Atlanta Games. The U.S. won the gold. The U.S. would go on to win the next two golds. 04 was their best year, outscoring opponents 51 to 1. The team lost to Japan at the Beijing Olympics, just short of winning four straight golds. The sport was tossed out in 2012 and 2016 due to popularity issues. The sport returned in the Tokyo Games, but the U.S. lost to Japan for the gold. Paris chose to keep softball out of the Olympics this year. Softball is becoming more popular. More than 65 million people play around the world. In the 2028 game, softball returns. They will play in Oklahoma City, where the College World Series is held.